Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool, amazing product right here in my hand, if you didn't see. Basically what it is, is a coffee or cup warmer. So you can use this to warm up your coffee or cup or whatever you guys have inside the cup in particular. But first thing first, let me actually open up the product to show you guys what it actually looks like and what comes out the package first. Alright, so when you guys first open the product itself, this is basically what it looks like inside. So this is basically what the product looks like right here, if you can see. Very nice. So they do provide you guys a little user manual to teach you guys how to use the product itself. But this is basically what the product looks like right here, if you can see. So this is what the top part looks like right here, and bottom part right here, and this is the cable that they use to plug it in. So for the product itself, it has two different buttons right here, if you can see. So one of them is to turn on and off the product, and one of them is to activate the temperature settings. So if you guys wanted to use high, low, or medium, then click on this button to change it. And right here is where to put the cup itself, the warm up, the drink, or whatever is in your cup itself. And what's really cool about this product is the fact that they have a lot of different safety features on here. Like if you guys have it on for a long period of time, it has a little light that blinks to let you guys know that it's on or off. And then it also has the auto shut off after four hours of usage. So if you guys use it for more than four hours, it turns off by itself just for like protection or for safety. And the way how they designed the product itself is actually waterproof. So that way if you guys like spill a little bit of water on here, it's fine. And really easy to kind of just clean and wipe off. So if you guys want to use like a paper towel or something to wipe off, that's all you guys have to do. But just make sure the product itself is not hot or on when you guys are using the paper towel to kind of wipe it off. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. The only way for us to actually find out whether or not it's actually worth it and whether or not actually it actually works is to actually go try it out. So let's go do that first and then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. Alright, so we got the product all plugged in. So we want to press this button right here. Alright, so that means it's on a high mode right now. If you guys want to change it to a lower one, which is a medium, just click on this button right here. And it changed to purple color right here. So now it's on the medium temperature. And we press it one more time. Now it's on the blue color, so that means this is low temperature mode. So depending on how hot or how warm the drink you guys want it to be, that's how you guys determine which one it's going to be at. So I'm going to turn it back to the high temperature and see how long it takes to warm up the cup. Alright, I think that should be good. Let's turn it off. So I'm going to take it off from the actual uh, cup warmer itself and see when out the bottom is warm. Alright, so when I removed the cup from the actual product itself, underneath the cup was warm, but when I slightly just touched it like this, it was really, really hot. So the product itself does work. It just doesn't work instantly. It's gonna take some time to warm it up. Unless you, if you guys already have like a hot drink or something, then it can keep it warm easier. But since my cup of water right here is cold, it's gonna take a while for it to warm up. And they also mentioned how it works better if you guys have a cup of a shallow bottom or a flat bottom. But if you guys use any other cups that is not flat bottom or shallow bottom, it won't work as good. And they also mentioned to not use an insulated cup or a bottle because that might hurt your hand or something because of how hot it is and it's insulated. And also the material won't work out too well on this according to what they said. So it also depends on the size of the cup as well. So like this one works perfectly so it fits on the actual uh, product itself. But if I put it onto a bigger one like this, it won't fit. So for this one it won't work if you can see it's too big and it's not inside that area that it needs to be. So when you guys use the product it has to be like a certain size as well. Alright, welcome back guys. So now I guys saw the quick test of product itself, you can see that actually does work and it works quite well. Super easy to use, all the touch control is really easy. Turn it on the product, turn it off the product, change the different temperature setting on here. Everything was very easy. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys do spill water on this, you guys don't have to worry about it. It's really easy to kind of just wipe off and the product is spill resistant up to a certain extent. But now that we did quick unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that these are worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys want to keep like your drink warm, whether it's in the office or at home. Wherever the case you guys want to use this, that's up to you guys. But definitely a really cool product to keep your drinks warm. <laughs> but then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have not one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. But other than that, that's much just for quick unboxing and testing on the product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout day we have. 